Hi everyone, I'm DJ Jo from Blue Tree Education. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing on simple tips on how to answer questions with graphs. So before we start, do like our Facebook page and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. So let's start. Now when we are looking at a question with graphs, they belong to the category of experimental questions. So therefore, they are not topic specific. In fact, you will realize that the knowledge on the specific topics may not matter as much as your knowledge on experiments. So it is very important to know what an experiment is about and the experimental terms like aim, conclusion, variables and relationships. When you are looking at experimental questions with graph, the very first step is to highlight the key information from the question. Now, where do you think this key information would be from? That's right, the graph. So let's learn how to analyze a graph. Now, when you are looking at the graph, you will notice that there are two labels. The one at the bottom and the one on top. Now, these labels are actually the variables of the experiment. One of them is the change variable and the other one is the measured variable. Now, a graph is actually the relationship between the change variable and the measure variable. Therefore, now the second step is to look at the graphs. Now, usually there are two types of graphs, a line graph or a bar graph. Now, look at the line or the bars. What do the numbers tell you? Try to establish the relationship between these data. Annotate on the question. What do this data tell you? Have you done it? Very good. Now, the third step, look at the question. And yes, ta-da! Use your highlighters. Highlight the key question term. Link the key information from the graph to the question. Remember, you have already highlighted the key question term. So remember to link the information to what the question is asking for. I hope that this simple video has helped you to understand questions about graph and will help you to be an expert in experimental questions. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!